duty to stop a humanitarian crisis from unfolding. Do you agree with him? Well, it's the double standards that get me. Uh, there's uh, more people being gunned down, innocent protesters, in uh, Yemen, for example. And no one would dream of uh, invading or imposing a no-fly zone on Yemen because Yemen doesn't have oil. It's so transparently an attempt to protect uh, British companies and other Western companies' massive investments in Libya that it is discredited in the Arab world. I saw your package saying there are Arab representatives at this meeting. Who are these Arab representatives? They can't even name themselves or the countries that they come from. But Not we know that the because, Arab League came out publicly but the Arab League and backed is a the UN of resolution. Di but the Arab League is a collection of dictatorships. So we shouldn't be dealing with Arab but, nations is well, what you're no, saying. No, but don't pray them in aid of an, a, 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 an operation that's supposed to be uh, standing up for human rights and democracy. The Arab League, without exception, is a collection of puppet presidents, corrupt kings, every one of them a dictator, every one of them now currently shooting their own people who are demonstrating for Well, that's democracy. right, but, but what's the alternative? Do we stand by and watch Colonel well, we are standing killing by, his people? But we are standing but by we're watching... to attack. We're standing by watching the Yemen president killing his people. We're standing by watching the Bahrain king killing his people. So what's the difference between them and Libya? Everyone watching this knows the difference is a dirty little three-letter word called oil. So let's not pretend but it's Libya about anything... But Libya only produces 2 percent of the world's oil. It's, oh, not, a, it's well, not a big deal. BP has 15 billion pounds worth of investments, billion pounds worth of investments in Libya. So don't pretend it's not a big deal. The truth is that we're not intervening in these other revolutions, but we are intervening in this for our own selfish interests. Now, that has two consequences. First of all, it generates more hatred and enmity against us around the world, and we will see that, believe me. Gaddafi, brute, armed brute, and buttressed brute by us and other Western countries, is not going to be uh, any kind of blamange. This is going to be a hotly contested military contest, and it will be contested not just in Libya. We're generating hatred for ourselves, terrorism, terrorist attacks all over uh, the world against our interests. Why? For the oil companies? So you think that will happen because definitely. we have had threats from a uh, Gaddafi spokesman Gaddafi, Gaddafi has a long record. He has a long record of being involved in international terrorism. Everybody should uh, try to remember that. He has a long record of funding terrorist organizations, and he'll do it again. Another reason to, to, to <laughs> intervene in the country, some well, would say. But he'd only be doing it because we're attacking him. Mr. Blair and his grisly embrace of Gaddafi in the desert, which I hope people will endlessly replay in their minds. Uh, some of us said that this would come to this, and it has. Uh, he brought Gaddafi in from the cold, didn't he? So Gaddafi was now just another Arab dictator. But if we start bombing and shelling and threatening to invade his country, you can be sure he'll fight back. So is that a reason not to do it? Because yes, we fear of retribution. Well, but what, and, and what, also why are we doing it, Anna? We're a country that can't even pay our bills. We're almost bankrupt. We're laying off hundreds of thousands of people. We can't keep our pensioners uh, warm in the winter. How come we've got money to go to war after war after war in the interests of uh, uh, oil companies and arms companies? That's what people in Britain are asking themselves this morning. So would you say there are any circumstances that would justify any military intervention or yes. there should be no military no, intervention uh, uh, anyway? Uh, no, I'm not a pacifist. If our interests are threatened, I'll be the first at the recruiting office to defend our country and our uh, uh, justifiable interests. But they're not in this case. And if uh, the neighbors of Libya are concerned about the turmoil that's being created by this dictatorship in their region, Tunisia and Egypt are perfectly entitled to uh, take action to defend themselves, as uh, Vietnam was, for example, against Pol Pot in Cambodia. But the North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the former colonial powers in the Arab world have absolutely no right to enter into Libyan internal affairs at all. So my solution is let the Arabs sort this uh, matter out. But uh, British men and women and taxes being used to put uh, one group of people in Libya in power rather than another, no thanks. George Galloway, thank you for coming in and sharing your views with us. Thank you.